r slash ask reddit what was your school's huge scandal a girl in my year lied about having a sexual relationship with a teacher in gross detail might i add we all knew that she was straight up crazy and was making it up but the school board obviously had to take it very seriously and the teacher was fired. Worst part was that the teacher's wife was also a teacher at the school. And so, even though she wasn't fired, she pretty much had to leave her job as well. The school board eventually figured out the girl was lying and offered both teachers their positions back. But they both declined. Poor teachers. Do you know what's up with them now? No that was back in 11th grade and I'm a junior in college now. I hope they found a job at a new school because word all around was that they were really great teachers and my high school probably didn't pay them anywhere close to enough. My high school guidance counselor ducked a science teacher's wife and everyone knew about it. They got a divorce. Both teachers still work at the same school to this day. And students will never ever let it go. The story has been handed down from year to year. So it is written. So it is told. So let it be written. So let it be done. LOL. That's pretty ballsy to just not give a duck and stay on. We had two teachers arrested for secretly recording kids and separate incidents. Our wood shop teacher had a low angle camera on the floor pointing up towards the seats. And also would slide an iPad out from under his desk when girls would walk up to it. He let a student borrow his flash drive. Who found the evidence? Then our speech teacher was caught hiding a camera underneath the sink in one of the private bathrooms that special education used. Second one is in a whole new zip code off screwed up. Unfortunately, the mentally disabled are disproportionately targeted for abuse. The caretaker killed two local girls and hid them in the school. He tried using the clay kiln to burn them. He later dumped them a few miles away. Oh I lived in the UK when that happened. We had literally just moved there. It was very sad. Didn't he get in the news looking for them? His girlfriend was shady too. I don't care who you are to me. If you kill a couple of kids I'm going straight to the police. It was sad. He did. And that was what aroused suspicion. She was there was something that came out about their history too. Some guy jokingly wrote if I won't get a B for this I'm going on a rampage. On his English test. Fast forward 15 minutes. A police response unit of 12 stormed the classroom and ducking arrested the shit out of him. Without being brutal. But it still was quite frightening for deterrence reasons I guess. Did he get a B? He's still in prison and now is a B. My high school had some fights that for some reason managed to make the local news. And the principal's words about it were broadcasted as well. She was pissed, and talked loudly in a passive aggressive manner over the announcements the next morning, repeating our school's mission statement over and over, ending the broadcast with record that, record that became a bit of a meme around the school after that, and the school seems to have lightened up about the situation since because the journalism team's shirts have record that written across the back. Work. My mum was a principal of a school where this happened. The story was run as the school having a fight club on a sensationalist TV program masquerading as news with the 10 seconds of mobile phone footage played on loop after loop. What had happened is that some kids got into a fight in a park and someone had got a shaky video and put it on MySpace, where it slightly blew up, then got picked up. My mum was livid, because she was turning the school's reputation around. Someone spread photos of naked female students which forced some of them to drop out. This happened at my school and one girl actually printed out photos of another girl and put them on all of the windshields in the student parking lots. Kids are so ducking cruel. I hope that girl gets her sweet karma. This was a big issue at a school where I used to live. The local police started busting people. They had a big shared drive or something and a lot of people would post to it. My high school district's his superintendent hired a relative who wasn't qualified for the job. Increase the salary of administrators every year. Use the district's credit card to buy meals, groceries, gas, personal electronics, and gift cards. When the state audit went through they said that the overpay of administrators and the personal spending cost the school district around 1.1 million dollars. Her husband was also an administrator. When she eventually got caught. She just retired and for some reason never faced federal charges. 
When she retired she had a $260,518 salary. My favorite part is that the state audit discovered that the district's credit card was used to purchase logging equipment the same month the superintendent's husband filed paperwork to open a timber company. Everyone knew there was corruption in the school district, but no audits or investigations happened until someone was threatened by the superintendent's husband on Facebook. A girl died in the pool during an event at the school. The swim teacher was blamed and was prosecuted. The girl who died was at my sister's class. Both were 7 at the time. That happened over 10 years ago. But the parents haven't had another child since. She was their only kid. Oh gosh that is heartbreaking. So many of these other stories are gross or funny but this one. Oh that poor family. A girl in my year was run over by her bus with her mom watching. She was 6. It was heartbreaking. Someone created a fake Facebook profile for our principal. He was commenting realistically on teachers pages but the context never lined up nice to see you last weekend Ms. Brown. Then once he had everyone as friends. He started simply roasting kids ha ha ha. He accessed the account from the computer lab and was never caught. He was my friend's brother. This is actually genius. Just picturing some high school kid with a status like just got a solo squad victory in Fortnite. With the principal promptly commenting lol you suck. Something similar happened when I was in middle school. Someone created a fake Facebook profile of a fake girl. Added everyone in the school. Posed as like a new girl I think. Once she had everyone enough people added. Started roasting the shit out of people. Police got involved and I remember kids getting pulled in for questioning. There were some terrible things said. At some point, the password got posted. And then a huge group of boys controlled the account so they could never track someone down and punish them. It was a brilliant plan. Five or so guys got caught smoking synthetic weed. The kind that utterly reeks and will duck you up internally. In the school toilet right next to the biology rooms. Where the biology teacher had just got out of being a drug officer in the Met. When asked if they smoked cannabis in the toilets. Apparently one of them he was new to the school and didn't speak much English said no. I only smoked weed. There was a male and female high school pay teacher that essentially shared an office. They always got along really well. And kids would always joke that they we were dating. We were just dumb kids. So we never really thought anything of it. After a couple years. They both started acting weird around each other. And there were rumors that he left his wife and kids for this pay teacher. This wasn't actually true though. What actually happened was they added on a bedroom to their house and the pay teacher moved in. The kids pretty much just had two moms and everyone got along wonderfully. It was strange for about a year. And then it was business as usual. I guess they're going on about 15 years strong. So, like husband, wife, shared mistress kind of thing. Yep, no clue how the bedroom works, but they all live together and take care of each other. In my senior year, a group of friends, who were goth before goth was really a thing, experienced a tragedy when one of the friends accidentally killed the other. The friend who caused the accident took his life a few weeks later. This touched off a wave of suicides at my school. Five in total, over the next three months. One of our students climbed out of the 11th story window, NYC school, climbed past the safety bars, and threw himself out the window onto the street below. Unfortunately he did it during play street where our school closes off the street to let the young kids play. It barely missed 3 kids hanging out, died in front of almost 100 kids. Gym teacher slash basketball coach and custodian were caught in the act in the showers. Custodian lost his job. But teacher kept his. Go figure. Mop my slop sink. A very popular guy at my school was arrested for videotaping people using the restroom. He was 18. They were not. Can't believe he videotaped 19 year olds. That's terrible. Joke's on you. He was the coolest dude in kindergarten. A picture of my senior class in a hot tub got out. There were boys and girls in it at the same time. The administration considered expelling us all. Christian schools are nonsense. Boys and girls sitting in a tub. Five feet apart because they don't want to be having premarital sex. Vine is eternal. Well I don't know if this was a school wide scandal. And it was years after I graduated but it's a scandal and a half. I went on holiday with my recently graduated brother. I graduated six years before him. 
he had noticed his friends had posted online that they were in that same city too. So we all met up, with this group of super young looking dudes, all around 18 stroke 19. There was an older looking woman I kind of recognized and I assumed it was an older sister. I spoke to her saying hey, I know you from somewhere, and she says yeah I teach at the school. It hit me that I'd seen her speech at my other brother's graduation 3 years before that. Then it hit me that she was holding hands and kissing this guy who looked about 15. And she was in her mid 30s. Not to mention his ex teacher. Even though they only hung out before he graduated and then they were instantly official. What the actual duck. Apparently they now live together and she still teaches there. Super weird. Junior high. Girls gym teacher posed for playboy nude. Everyone saw those pics after one kid's dad recognized her and let his son take the mag to school. She got fired. Two dudes got into a physical fight over a girl. She was lesbian. Someone started a my school gossip girl page and just started duck and roasting people. Really sticking it to them with some properly nasty stuff. It was great for me, as I love drama and I'm a totally immaculate person. Or just so unimportant I was skipped completely. They never found out who ran it. But I can say that it was vicious. And split the school into factions. War is heck and all that. Regina George is a fugly slap. Made out with a hot dog? That was one time. Had two students duck in the library. Large protest caused the school to have to be shut down. One teacher was a pedophile and violated multiple kids. A toilet exploded gas and caused a dozen kids to get sick. Must have been a wicked fart. There were two teachers at my school who were in their late 20s early 30s who were married. The husband cheated on her with another teacher in her late 40s. Their affair was known by basically everyone. They were even caught in the same car after a school excursion by passing students. They were on the same seat. Eventually the wife found out and her office was right next to the mistress apparently and they moved them to opposite ends of the teacher offices. Also the husband and wife kept teaching at my school for the entire time I was there and the husband wound up engaged to his mistress. Apparently the principal was totally on the wife's side and she got days off to prepare for court whilst the husband didn't. How do nearly all the students know all this? Apparently teachers like gossiping as much as students. Can confirm. My wife is a teacher. The gossip is pretty much the same as high school. I think of it like any workplace. There is gossip everywhere I have worked and I can't imagine it's different at any other job. At the French speaking school, some students got suspended because of a song they sang at a talent show. The issue the school had with the song is that it was in English. The students decided to do a sit-in and not go to class in protest of the suspension. Once it hit the news it reignited a lot of French versus English sentiments throughout the whole town. Quebec or France? New Brunswick. Not a skankle per se but we had a huge sit down protest because the cool janitor got fired because of some petty argument with a lunchtime lady who had a lot of pull. Looking back she was probably ducking the principal. All students from 10th to 12th grade sat down on the floor in the cafeteria when the bell rung at 8.30am up until the end of class at 3pm. The principal came in at the end of the day and said the janitor would resume his employment. We cheered. It made the news. Sometimes what brings the kids together is hating the lunch lady, although that'll change, because, by the end of the 4th grade, the lunch lady was actually the person I hung out with the most. My school district gave all high school students laptops that they could bring home with them to use for school work. They could also remotely activate the webcams and spy on students, although of course they didn't tell us this. One kid got caught smoking weed this way while he was in his room at home and I think was going to get suspended. He sued the district in response for invasion of privacy and won the case. It got national media attention for a little while. Good for him. My friend's sister got suspended for an fight she got into after school. Off school grounds. Their parents fought it and got the suspension reversed. I'm tired of schools thinking they have any say in what kids do on their own time. Unless a student specifically gets school personnel involved, it's none of their business. A year after I graduated HS, a woman was stabbed 40 plus times with a pair of scissors while jogging on our track on a Sunday. One of the guys in that year's senior class wound up hanging around the track over the following days, obsessively pestering investigators with questions and theories. 
so naturally some suspicion fell on him. When the woman's description of her assailant, she survived, matched him spot on. He was arrested, and both the scissors used and his bloody clothes were found at his house. Dude was sentenced to 10 plus years in prison. End of story. Right? Wrong? Two years after the trial, the jailed kid is ordered released after his little brother, one year younger and a dead lookalike for his big bro, is popped for violent sexual assault on a woman, and confesses to the stabbing during questioning. Turns out the older brother took the fall for him, falsely confessing so that he could keep his younger sib out of jail. Dude never told anyone but did admit the lie after his younger brother's arrest and confession. I knew both kids when I was a student there. Both brothers were definitely thought to be weirdly intense, but their behavior was attributed to their military dad's strict style of parenting, and not anything darker. My high school got on national news for someone drawing swastikas. Pregnant 7th grader at the middle school. The shit bandit. Suspected pedophile gym teacher. There was a pregnant 7th grader in my town. 2. Every teacher took this as a reason to punish everyone in that grade, even people in other schools, because apparently it meant our generation was immoral. The father of the baby was 19, and under arrest for statutory rape, but never mind that, this was clearly the fault of every 12 year in town. Fasipum. One 9th grader broke water on her field trip and one of the teachers had to help deliver the baby. A kid got caught tugging his hog in the library while he and everyone else was taking the sat. He needed that post nut clarity. Football coach made smart kids take the sats for football players so they could get better scholarships. Record that. A gym teacher got caught fooling around with a student or two. Another gym teacher was having an affair with a school administrator's wife. That one was hilarious because the administrator guy was a total a-hole. It's always a gym teacher isn't it? A girl in my grade died of a brain tumor a week before the year 12 formal. They buried her the day before the formal. It was ducking horrific. The scandal wasn't so much with the school as with the local hospital. The duckers had told her the migraine she was suffering were just normal stress symptoms. So they didn't pick it up until just before she died. She passed while on the plane to a hospital in the nearest major city. Less than a year later, a teacher also got brain cancer. But for that, the fittest and smartest man I've ever met. Like, crazy healthy. A few other students and teachers have had cancer in the years since. And it's not a big town. So it's a bit weird. There's a part of me that's surprised there hasn't been a scandal about a cancer cluster tbh. High school that I went to as a student. The year I graduated the gym teacher, who was also the girls basketball coach and always had the rumors of did he duck so and so, was promoted to assistant principal. I returned from college 4 years later to work there as a day and the gym teacher slash AP is being transferred to another school because he was caught ducking a guidance counselor. Both of them married. They were caught by a school janitor while doing it in her office after hours. Two things. We had a bomb threat and the teachers would not tell us who sent it until the school paper leaked it and for the rest of the year admin and the paper had a back and forth power battle. Not our school but our sister school. The principal of that school got fired because he was found in a hotel room with a dead hooker on the bed and a mountain of coke on the desk. Gonna try to keep this as vague as possible to avoid exidoxing the perpetrators. The class before me did some things that led the district to ban senior cruises. That is, a vacation near or just after the end of the last school year. Granted, they couldn't really enforce it, but they did ban all fundraising events for senior cruises from taking place on school grounds. On this senior cruise, one of the girls got blackout drunk and passed out on the floor. One of our star football players decided it would be a great idea to gather everyone up, strip the girl naked, and cram all manner of phallic objects into places they did not belong. Also wrote all manner of slurs on her. Kids were taking photos of the deed, and there was even a videotape. The ringleader and one or two of his buddies got some jail time, but everyone else got away with fines and or community service, and most of their records are sealed due to having been minors at the time of the crime. It also helped that several of the parents involved were lawyers, and one of them may have even been the local DA. I knew the guy's sister. She was in my classes. I never saw her smile again after the news broke. 
I will never understand what makes people think stuff like this is funny. Why do people do this? Man I wish I wasn't so late to this party. Around 1998, someone took a dump in a toilet at my high school. This turd was, no joking, the circumference of a coke can and the length of a size 13 shoe. It was so big that it couldn't be flushed. This shit made its way around the school quickly, and there was a line out the door to that bathroom for an hour at least before the facility caught wind. From what we heard, it took the janitor four flushes after breaking it down with a plunger. Fast forward a couple weeks to the real aftermath. Someone managed to take a picture of this turd and created a website dedicated to this mammoth shit. The person that made the site was dumb enough to use his name on the site and the school threatened him with expulsion if he didn't take the site down. He said no, so he had to go in front of the school board to make his case about how it's his right to have a website dedicated to a massive shit. This made the local news and made my junior year extremely funny. Some idiot parent showed up to the local elementary school a few years ago and said I have a gun. I'm going to go to this classroom and shoot this person. What are you going to do about it? He was promptly arrested. He wanted to know what the school's policy was on active shooter situations and make sure they were prepared and his kid would be protected. Unfortunately, he was next level stupid and has been spending some time in prison. Someone started an anonymous confessions page on Sarah her 4 hour school where people post all the gossip about teachers and students. After some of the confessions were students saying they're trying to duck teachers, the school reported it to the police. The anonymous student running the page got wind of it and took the page down. He came back 5 days later. It's happened like 3 times already. In 12th grade a girl sexted nude photos of herself to her boyfriend. They broke up. He printed them out and left piles of them everywhere. She was pretty popular to begin with but got bullied after and her parents wouldn't let her drop out of school. He may have been kicked out. Don't think anyone got in legal trouble though. Good way to go to jail. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.